Winkle's urge to go west was pretty serious, all right. Particularly when he shot out the TV tube trying to outdraw two-gun Twombly. Fastest gun in the west. Unfortunately, he was the slowest TV repairman and not too bright. Oh! He looked pretty bright to me. And so our boys were reduced to ugh, reading in the evening. Dick and Jane see the dog. Wild. But then Bullwinkle came across a want ad that changed his whole life. For sale, ranch style ranch, 1,000 acres, $28 full price. Low down payment. And in less time than it takes to tell, our boys were on their way to Squaw's Ankle, Wyoming. Alas, if they had only glanced at the front page, they might have changed their minds, for at that moment, a fearful monster was ravaging Squaw's Ankle. But little knowing the fate that awaited them, our heroes slumbered fitfully on a speeding cross-country train. Rocky in an upper and Bullwinkle in a lower. Gee, I just can't sleep, Rock. You that excited, Bullwinkle? No, my torso keeps dragging on the ties. Ooh! The train roared on through the night and next day arrived at Squaw's Ankle, Wyoming. Well, here's where we get off, Bullwinkle. You're right, Rock. <laughs> Are you hurt? Yeah, I think I got eternal injuries. You mean internal injuries. I mean eternal injuries. I'm always getting hurt. Howdy, strangers. Give you a lift to town. Yeah, but first give me a lift into the wagon. And so a little while later, our heroes found themselves in the friendly western town of Squaw's Ankle. You fellas fixing to stay on a piece? All a piece of what? Bullwinkle, he means are we here to stay. None of us are here to stay, Rock. I mean... We all got to go sometime. Mighty glad to have you with us, Rocky. Aren't we, folks? You bet you! Yes, yes, yes. Well, thanks, Mr. Mayor. You too, Bullwinkle. Likewise. Just where are you figuring on staying while you're here? Well, we bought a ranch just outside of town. Why, that's wonderful. Ain't it, folks? You He's bet you! Yes, what ranch did you buy? It's called the Lazy J. The Lazy J? Oh! <laughs> That's great, ain't it, folks? Uh, folks? Gee, Bullwinkle, everybody left. Not everybody, Rocky. Look there. Sure enough, a lone figure still remained, holding a pencil and paper. I bet you want our autograph, don't you? No, I just like your measurements. Measurements? Must be one of those tailor fellas. My card, gentlemen. Uh-oh. Dudley Digg, licensed undertaker. Uh-huh. Six foot two inches overall. No, no, not overall. Something a little sportier. Waist 36. I'd like a little padding in the shoulders, too. Oh, you'll get padding from head to toe. Uh, how about a belt in the back? Bullwinkle, he's an undertaker. I don't want to tell you how to run your business, mister, but aren't you a little early with that tape measure? Just a few hours. A few hours? See you a little later. Yeah. Though, of course, you won't see me. Gee, the sun must be down, Bullwinkle. All of a sudden, I feel a little chilly. How about you? Just my feet, Rock. We better go find our ranch before it gets dark. I'm with you. Stick close to me, Bullwinkle. If I was any closer, I'd be on the other side of you. And our boys began to move through the deserted town on their way to the Lazy J Ranch. Little did they know that stark terror awaits them there. Honey, he said he'd meet us at the train. Be with us next time for Buzzard Bait or the Carrion Calls.